All right. Checking on videoing. I think I am. Welcome aboard the Brown Hornet. It has been a long, long time between fishing videos. Been a bit going on. Work has been really good. Work's been really shit. Had a stroke, which wasn't much fun. So between all that, fishing's been put on the back burner. But today I decided to come out and I've got a new camera too, which is all very exciting. I'm just trying to work out the angle of it because I've clamped it onto my hat. So I have to do a bit of mucking around here to get the old hat cam uh, functioning. I can probably just sit there for a bit while I, I've got to adjust the uh, tightness of the hat because this camera is a lot heavier than the other one. And if I want to do that, we'll see how we go. It's a bit too tight now, but we'll see how we go with this. I, I, as I, I can't see what you're seeing. So, fishing. We're out at the floaty grounds. It's not the right time of year to be at the floaty grounds because uh, it's winter. Well, you wouldn't know it was winter. I'm here in a pair of shorts, t-shirt, dead set middle of winter, probably 22 degrees, 23 degrees, something like that. Fishing's been a bit funny. I came out here this morning where I am now, which is probably about seven k's offshore, and I... Something's going on here. It was windy as buggery. That is, and it, and the, the forecast was spot on. It was going to be a bit of morning sickness this morning with a bit of breeze. And then it's going to come good by sort of mid-morning, which is exactly what's happened. So out here this morning, exactly this spot, I had to put the canopy down, I had the sea anchor out, and I still couldn't hold the bottom with 18 ounces of lead. So I went back in, sort of over there, towards Budai National Park and did a bit of squidding, which went nowhere. But pretty well, as soon as the minute I got in there, uh, I could see the wind had dropped off as per prediction. So I scooted back out here, which is doing a lot of miles. But since I came out here, and now look, normally you just get smashed in this area in winter time. It doesn't come on till sort of September, October is when the big flatties are on. But uh, the problem you get is all the little ones are here and they just pick your bait and it's just winding up, letting it down. And there's leather jackets. Leather jackets are the worst fish in the world because they, they're actually good to eat, but they bite your line, they snap the line off. They've got teeth like a piranha. So, uh, but today, thankfully, oh, there's a little nibble happening on here. Hang on, I'm gonna get this one. There was a little touch here. Back on the bottom, as I do. Don't know what you can see. Oh, there's the bite. There's the bite. I missed it. It's only little. This one. Yeah, there's little pickers there. I reckon my bait's gone. I'm just going to give it another minute or two. I really don't need that sea anchor out there. I'm tempted to pull in. Oh, that might have been another bite then. Yeah, a little fucking picker at it. Yeah, little picks. Little babies. Might even be a little one. I'm going to bring this in anyway. I've just got one rod down at the moment. There's another one rigged up there ready to go. But you've really got to keep an eye on it. Otherwise you end up sitting there for 20 minutes with no bait because you miss seeing a bite. And when you've got this many pickers down there, that's what tends to happen. So I'd be interested to see how different the quality of this video. This is a GoPro 11 or something like that it is. Yeah, see no bait there. Picked. Um, 
4K. So that other camera I was using was just a bloody Audi El Cheapo one that was on special and I just bought it one day just for, decided to make a video and then one thing led to another. These are just frozen pilchards. They're not the best. They've been in the freezer for probably a year. So they're a bit, how's your father? But anyway, we'll get this back down. So I've caught three keepers so far. I actually four, I let the first one go. It was a bit marginal. And you sort of, you don't want to end up with just one marginal fish. It's not even worth the effort. Um, you're not wasting them. But uh, now there's three in the bag. I'm pretty keen to get that up to, you know, 10, 15 more because that's a good feed of fish then. Get a couple of meals out of that for a family, especially when you've got teenagers. So I was gonna show you, oh, there's a bite. Just a little one. Need a longer rope for that sea anchor. I had to cut it off one time when I uh, was trying to pull up an anchor in heavy wind. And there's a little bite there. So I went over a patch before, I got three keepers in a row. They're in there, they're upside down, so it's not the best view of them. Anyway, hopefully you can see that. Might let this other one down, what the hell. Yeah, it's a stunner of a day. So there's a mutton bird out there. He's been my friend, kept me company. I fed him some pilchards before. But there were some that were going a bit manky on the bait board there and he, uh, he appreciated them, he or she. Well, they, they, Zim. Could be any gender you want these days. Uh, including mutton birds. What was I saying? I forget. I had to put some sunscreen on. It's unusual for middle of winter. But I could feel myself getting burnt. Cut myself too. Glory. Probably get me a YouTube strike or something. Yeah, I'm uncertain of the angle of this camera and where it's sitting and whether it's pointing down or pointing up, but anyway. I'll treat this video as a bit of an experiment. There's not a huge amount of fishing action anyway, but as you can see. So we'll just... Oh, excuse me. Treat it as a bit of a test for the new camera. Looking right in the sun too. Normally the, uh, we're here first thing in the morning, so the sun would be behind me, not, uh, not overhead. But it's too cold in winter, I'm too old and soft to come out at stupid o'clock in the middle of winter. I know there's good snapper fishing at first light, but it's just too cold and uncomfortable and it's just too hard to get out of bed, to be perfectly honest. So anyway, I'm hoping I can catch a fish before, um, before the battery runs out. Although I've got two batteries for this camera and they last heaps longer than the other ones. That was just a cheapie. Oh, and I was going to say there's whales before. There's the whole uh, pot of them. I heard them, even though it was really windy. What the fuck was that? They just sort of shuddered like something hit it. Oh, that was weird. That was really weird. Anyway. <clears throat> I could hear this whale and it was, it was a funny one. There's an albatross out there. It was making this funny noise. It was like it was groaning almost when it was uh, when it was breathing. But I heard it, and you get it. You learn to get sort of get you have an ear for them after a while. You can just tell, 
even if it's uh, there's other noise and wind and everything else. And sure enough, then behind the boat, a few minutes later, he uh, he, he uh, swam past, did a couple of breaches, but it was windy and it was uh, I was getting ready to pack up to head in, so I didn't bother taking any video of it. But we're a bit late for whales heading north. Sort of the main whale season's done and dusted. Like, they'll uh, start heading back south again, I suppose, before too long. So it's Baron Joey Lighthouse, where I'm looking straight ahead, Box Head, Lion Island's in the middle. So Budai National Park there. Yeah, it like something swam into the boat before. Oh, there was dolphins around before. Bit of a weird feel. But anyway. Well, the fish have died right off as soon as I start the video. That's part of the course. Caught three in about five minutes and then basically nothing after that. But that's how it happens. It's the middle of winter after all. Just making sure these are going down to the bottom, which they are. I've been keeping a pretty close eye on these. I'm pretty sure I've got bait on both. You can see I need to move that... Uh, I need to lengthen that rope, which I used for the, uh, for the sea anchor, but look, it doesn't really affect it. You can still see the bites. Uh, no. Come on, fish. So, how deep are we? We are in 50 point five meters exactly where we want to be oh why are we awake so much had a good sleep last night oh i've had a seasick pill that's what it is there's a bite not much of one but it's a bite <laughs> Yeah, the wind's dropped off. I don't need that sea anchor out. I'm going to move back, go over that patch that I hit before. Uh, it was like there was a heap of fish just in one spot and then sort of nothing outside of it. So if that's the case, it's, you're better off just working the same ground. Although there's a little bite here, but nothing to write home about. There it is again and again and again. It's just little taps. Alright, well I'm going to stop videoing, because there's nothing, Oh, little baby bites, gosh. Alright, I'm going to get myself sorted, I'm going to bring that sea anchor in and leave it in because I don't need it out. I'm going to relocate back, I'll try and get back over that patch I was on before. It was pretty rich vein there. Oh, that's a bit, bit of a better bite. Ooh. Nothing to write home about. It'll just be a little one. Actually, all right. I'm keeping that. That'll do. It's a fish. It's legal. And still got two fillets, two pieces of fish, which 
our family will demolish tonight. That's four now. One pretty good one in there too. So I'll just keep fishing that other one for a bit. I need a bit more bait out of the board. That one was a pleasant surprise. I'll bait this one up so when I get to the next spot, we're uh, all ready to go. birds see me throw something in the water now coming over to have a closer look I don't like getting too close oh. give this another minute and then I'll bring it in let it back down on the bottom It is beautiful out here. I've missed it. Me and Alan are coming fishing next Friday. G'day Alan, if you're watching. All right, I'll stop the video so I don't waste battery. And I'll turn it back on when we get back to the other place. All right. We've moved about just under a K, I reckon. I'm not going to use the sea anchor this time. See how we go. It's a pain in the ass sometimes. So I'm about over where I got those three fish before. So I'm going to see if we can uh, get back onto a bit of that action. So I'm going to fish all day today, um, try some squidding on the way in and dusk because I really would love some fresh calamari, bloody beautiful. And I haven't been squidding in ages and it is one of my favourite forms of fishing. There's a little tap there straight away. Alright, I'm going to sit here and concentrate. Here's one. Got to watch that other one as well. Little taps on that other one over there. Nothing on this one now. That's the reason I was fishing with one rod before. They're actually quite aggressive bites before. Well, not this sort of tap, tap, tap stuff. Yeah, it's just little, little ones here. Now they're little ones over there. And I have been baited off the shore. But you never know. That's the problem. 
I want to wind up bait if you can help. I would be very surprised if there's bait on this rod here. It just feels like it's been done. And it has, because I could tell. If I catch a small fish. I might cut up some fish baits because they last a bit longer on the hook when you're getting picked. And no bait is pretty good. And there'll be no bait on the other one too. I'm going to go back to one rod I think because it's just too much fucking around with two. I'll leave this one ready. So if I want to deploy it, I can. Need my rag. I want to bring this one in. No baits. I'll go back down with this one. And we'll watch it like a hawk. It is so beautiful today. Spring's just come real early this year. It's not spring, it's just a warm winter. It's freezing for the first half of it. And uh, warm second half. They were hoping for a hot summer, they keep telling us. All right, that's on the bottom. Let's watch that. Alright, I'm going to stop the start now, if there's any fish action. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes, and one's just hooked itself on here, and it's not a bad one, I'm pretty sure, it uh, feels like a good fish. Biggest of the day so far, I would say, but let's not count our chickens. So I was just sitting watching, and uh, yeah, rod just dipped, and uh, it was fish on. Yeah, it's a good fish. Now the only thing that can get you with these is if you jag them sideways, they feel a lot bigger than what they are. But this one's got enough weight, I'm pretty sure it's a decent fish. Got some colour here. And in we come. That's a good one. Big fat one. Jesus. Go and join his brethren. Ah, uh, that's a good fish. Happy with that. <sighs> Took 
got the hook down pretty well. And he doesn't want to unhook, that's for sure. Bloody hell! That was a fucking lot harder than it needed to be. Ah, it's a good fish though. Yeah, just one minute there was nothing happening, next minute rod had bent over. Take that any day. So that's uh, five, I think. Whew. Oh, you don't need to let me watch me lower the line down. Alright, this one was down about five seconds and there's a fish on. There are just enough fish down there to keep it interesting. I don't think it's quite as big as that last one but it's still a reasonable fish. Oh, it's having a bit of a go here. Oh, it's a good one. Real good one. Real, real good one. That's as long as the esky. Take that. Any day of the week. Nice fish. Happy with that one. I think that's six fish for the session. Mock seven. Don't really know. Oh, my back's a uh, little nibble on here now. Yeah, there's one on there. Yeah, it's on. Not much of a fish though. Unfortunately, uh, might just be a keeper. You never know. Last one fooled me on this rod. My back's starting to fucking give out. Yeah, it's a little one. I'll uh, send him back. Watch him some more. God, I'm better practice in the old pliers. Oh, for fuck's sake. Doesn't help that they're half seized up either. There he goes. Off like a shot. Alright, get these lines back down. Another two or three minutes later. I'm trying to manage multiple things at once here. Another one's on. This one, rod that I'm on now has caught me most of the fish today. It's funny how it works that way. You can come out again tomorrow and it'll be the other one. But this one's a medium size fish. It'll be a keeper. Which it is. Not a bad one. Medium size, as I called it. Well, it's off. Back in there. I 
All right. We're starting to be a good session. Keep winding the bloody swivel into my guides. Because I'm an idiot. Sitting down, trying to preserve my back. It's getting bad. But it's unfortunately how it rolls. There's one on here now. Not a big bite. I'm sitting on the S here, I can feel the fish in there flapping around. Whew. I can't remember if I'm still videoing. I think I am. I don't remember switching it off. Alright, back on again. I think this one will just be a keeper. My prediction. It's been about six or seven minutes, I suppose, since the last fish. Been baited a couple of times. Too small. Here he goes, back down to the depths. Some more bait out. Oh, I think I started the camera and the bloody fish got off. Ah, oh, do lose fish when you're videoing. I'll drop this back down just in case. I had one on the other one. I had a bite. I was bringing it in to rebait. And then got a, a nibble on this one. But I'll put this one back down. Just on the off chance there's still some bait there. I might have another crack at this one here. Uh, well, I think that one's baited too, but I'll leave it. There's a chance on that one. This one I'm pretty sure I'm baited. So I've just moved, just got went did, uh, to the start of the drift again because I was getting nothing so it's, they're really localised today they're only in one spot glad I found them and as soon as you drift off it it goes down to nothing but we'll have another crack on this line here because it's been pretty busy since I've stopped to hit this spot let's get this one back down Yeah, I say this other one will have to come back up. It's been baited. It was a good bite and I had the fish on when I start, but I paused to start the video and I uh, hadn't hooked it properly and it got off. But anyway, such is life. Oh, my back is killing me. All right, this one's down. bite straight away I think get this other one up I'll be watching that one like a walk though there's a little tap This one. 
attacked. Get this back down. Yeah, little baby bites on that other one there. It's just going to get picked to pieces. Get this one back down. I'm only going to have another half a dozen drops and then I'm probably going to call it a day. Even though it's a beautiful afternoon, my back is starting to hurt. I can hear a boat over there somewhere. Oh, maybe it's just a line. Definitely got a feed of fish though, which is always good. I haven't had fish in the fridge for ages. I'll watch this one. Most recent one down. Yeah, this will be it, I think. Be a nice, it'll be a beautiful drive in. Nice and flat, no wind. Bloody rugby group chat's going crazy. Just sent him a picture of the fish. It has aroused his interest. All right, well, I think I'm going to call it quits here. That'll be it for the video. And uh, Friday, we are, Alan and I are out again, so be more video then. Hooroo.